we responded to everything. So when we didn't have enough PPE, we responded and we bought okay. a lot but of PPE. I think we can agree that one thing, particularly in the case of Paul Will's father, that went wrong was that March the 19th diktat last year, and releasing um, hospital patients into care homes without being tested. And care homes accounted for two thirds of deaths in yeah. the first peak. That was a catastrophic error. If you want to look more widely about where did we go wrong, we can look back to 2011 when there was a pandemic planning exercise which found Britain to be woefully wanting in its preparedness. Nothing was done. You know, the critical care bed uh, capacity in this country is 10 per 100,000. In Germany, it's 34. Why wasn't something done about that in the intervening decade? Nothing was. We can also perhaps well, not attribute... many people plan for a global pandemic I know, that happens we should, every 100 years. To be fair, it costs a lot had, of money, obviously, to do that. We'd had SARS and MERS. You know, Kate's made the point about, well, we didn't react to lockdown. The protocol was from that 2011 exercise in Operation Cygnus of, of not to lock down, of not to tell people to lock down. That was the, that was the, the protocol at the time. Equally, if we want this to go... This is all with hindsight as well. A lot I, of this I know, is with but hindsight. if we want to go wider... With hindsight, there's a lot of things you do differently. But specifically, sure. that, that March the 19th diktat was a, was a catastrophic error, and it yeah. will come up in a public Would inquiry. you agree with that? I, you know... I spoke only into my local area, and I know that they were testing patients on the way in, but and they were testing we know them on that, the that, way that out. Was, that was a, a, a policy. You know, it, Do you think it if, was wrong? If people went back into the care home without being tested, and that created, which I'm sure you know, there is, there is some examples of that, then, of course, that's a catastrophic mistake. But also we knew where there was going to be a lot okay. of people but who were elderly and vulnerable, and they were in care homes, and they were in hospitals, which is where the other if, if elderly and vulnerable it, if people If we take are. it more macro, we can reflect on this, and we can talk about a fi failure of the British state. We can talk about the fact that decision-making, leadership, accountability since the war, frankly, has been devolved to arms-length bodies, um, which are quite opaque. No one quite knows where to pin the blame. It creates a situation where you have a lot of buck passing. We have had failures, as Kate's pointed out. There's no out, such perfect system across the whole country. I want, I know, I, I want to bring Deborah in a minute. So if get perfect but that, that is why you also get problems with test, track and trace, inconsistency in NHS procurement, and situations where different people are running things in some sort of shadow of secrecy and darkness because ultimately you know a more command and control system that we see in countries like South Korea and Taiwan is responsible for a better management of, of this well, we have used okay let me bring De let me bring Deborah in. Deborah you've been wanting to come in for a while oh I have <laughs> um, I think we can talk about all of the technical issues in the world I think the judgment the, the um, government showed very poor judgment in the very early days, which you can forgive a little bit for because this was brand new and everybody was trying to understand what was going on. What I can't forgive is that I don't believe that they have learned. We take really random short-term decisions which can change in 12 hours, let alone a week or a day or a month. Um, we are, our, our judgment is absolutely awful. The communication I mean, I, I, and I spend my life working out what I'm supposed to do within certain guidelines, but it would take, it would take me forever to work out what I was, could do, what I couldn't do. Was I supposed to go to work? Was I not supposed to go to work? I just didn't understand the rules. And when you get confused people, they will make up their own version of the rules and you can't blame them for it. So the communication has been populist. It's been trying to deliver jolly, you know, we'll go through this together, when, when in actual fact what we should have been doing is sending out really, 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 really clear messages, helping people to understand that you can't actually say this. we're going to come out of lockdown, for instance, at the end of December because of A, B, C and D, but this is the plan under which we can come out of lockdown. We can't give you the date, but in these circumstances we can. I've got to tell you, I think the communication has been absolutely awful and it has meant that the population has been left in a void and left in a void. They will just decide what to do. Yes, I have to say there are a lot of people nodding and, and applauding what Deborah's saying.